going on everyone? It's Dodgy Run and uh 2.0.1 came out a while ago. Uh 2.0.0.4 of the version of Winnow came out about two days ago or so. And uh there's been some jailbreak issues, but I figured them out. What you're going to want to do is uninstall the previous version of Winown. And if you already installed Winown but you're having problems, just uninstall it. Then you're going to want to reboot. And what I also did is I changed the USB port that I was using. And that way you know if you're in DFU mode because a little thing will pop up at the bottom of the screen where the, the time is, that whole taskbar right there. It'll come up and say I boot DFU mode, something like that. Um, pretty much it's the same thing as every other jailbreak. You're going to go download the stuff on the side. In the description, you're going to go to Browse IPSW. You're going to open the regular restore. Alright, once that loads, it's going to tell you to be sure to connect an iPod. And this time, if you watch the 2.0 firmware uh, jailbreak, I said don't connect your iPod. This time, you're going to want to. And also, it's going to say uh, iPhone or iPhone 3G, whatever. Make sure you download the correct firmware for your device. If you download the wrong firmware, you'll know because it'll say be sure to connect an iPhone instead of an iPod and vice versa. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to IPSW Builder. This will pop up. What you're going to want to do is check all three even though you really you usually only click YouTube activation fix if you're using if you're like unlocking your iPhone but there's been problems if you don't check all three so just check all three you can go over use custom boot images I didn't do anything with custom payloads and I didn't do anything with the partition resizer but what you can do with this is open up uh, make your uh, operating system file or your operating system folder a little bit bigger so you can have more apps and whatnot but you have boss tool which will give you more space so this isn't really needed, but you can use it if you want to. What you're going to do after that, you're going to click Build IPSW. You're going to save it, and you're going to save it to the desktop because it's going to be a lot easier. So just go ahead and click the desktop icon over here. Name it as whatever. I already did this. Then once you have that created, you're going to come over and click iOwner. Then load the custom IPSW that you made. Mine would be this one. Once that's done, it's going to say your iTunes has been owned. You're going to go ahead and open up iTunes now. Now what you're going to do is put your iPod or your iPhone or your 3G in DFU mode. And to do that, it's pretty much like putting it in restore mode. You're going to hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then you're going to release the power button and hold the home button for another 10 seconds. You have to make sure that your iPod or iPhone is plugged into the computer when you do this. And I'm not going to do it right now because I already jailbroke it. I don't feel like jailbreaking it again. But... If you're really bad with time and you need to know what 10 seconds really is, just go to the beginning of the video and after 10 seconds, like you know the timer, after 10 seconds just um, release the power button. Once you put it in DFU mode, it's going to pop up a little window right here. It's going to say waiting for iPod or iPhone. Then it's going to tell you that it has found an iPod in recovery mode. It's actually in DFU mode, if you did it correct. If you plug it into a different USB port than you usually use, you will get a little message at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And it's going to say that it is in iBoot DFU mode. Now what you're going to do is shift click on restore. What all you're going to do is hold down the shift button and then click. It's really not as hard as people think it is. You're just going to hold it down.
and click and then this will come up you're going to click your custom restore that you just made then you're going to click open then it will take some time but you will have a jailbroken device if you have any questions that I didn't already answer in the video just message me or comment I'll get back to you as soon as possible and uh, subscribe thank you for watching